Hi everybody, my name is Isis, and if you couldn't tell from that backdrop hanging up over here, I am an actor. I've been an actor since I was eight years old actually, and I do feel like I talk about it quite a bit on this channel just because when I am not filming, that is what I'm doing. I am always on set and in acting classes. I'm going to school for acting and film. It is a massive part of my life and it is something that obviously I'm very passionate about and dare I say, well educated. Now in one of those acting classes, I'm doing a project right now on character analysis. As I was getting to work on my project, I was thinking, Oh my god, I have so much to say about this topic. I want to make a YouTube video about this because genuinely I find it to be so fun and so important. I know that a lot of people that go to my college and are actors do watch this channel, so this video is for you. But even if you're not an actor, I hope that you find this video interesting because it's interesting to me. So. When I say character analysis, what I really mean by this is figuring out all that you can about your character because there is nothing worse in my opinion than showing up to set and being asked by a director or whoever something about your character and you don't have an answer and people say, I don't know. I don't know I think is my actor ick. I cannot stand that statement. Even if you really do not know, you need to know. And that is why you've got to do your homework on this. You have to come in to set prepared, knowing the ins and outs because you're responsible for your role. No one's gonna hold your hand in that process. The more that you bring to the table, the more there is for you to pull from in your performance. Now what I'm about to say, I am not unique in this. These are things that several other actors do. I did not coin any of these things, but this is what works for me and what I have the most fun doing. I think the biggest thing to keep in mind with all of this is the story does not start at the beginning of the script. How long your character has lived before the script starts is equivalent to their age. So just because, okay, we're telling the story of Romeo and Juliet, right? Everyone knows that one. What happened to Juliet the day before the story started? You gotta figure that out. What do they do? Who are they? I kind of look at this as the script, which you should be eating, breathing, sleeping, living inside of, that's driving forward. You see all that stuff, you know all that stuff, everyone in the crew, cast, knows that story. But first you gotta back out of the driveway. Look in those rear view mirrors, understand what is behind you before you can really get going forward. How do I document my own character analysis? Great question. So much writing. So much freaking writing, I am shocked that I do not have carpal tunnel. My hand cramps, when I'm typing away, when I'm in the zone, it's ridiculous, but it pays off. Best thing to pay attention to are your given circumstances. Those are the clues of the actual script. Who are you talking to? What was your moment before, etc. My favorite way to kind of assess the given circumstances and figure out who your character is in regards to the story is Uta Hagen's nine questions. I think they're great to the point, specific enough that they fill in the gaps for the most part. However, in my opinion, that is not enough for me. I have no clue where this document stemmed from other than I found it in high school. My acting teacher then assigned it to all of us. And so many people would complain being like, gosh, I don't wanna do this. But every time it was assigned to me, I filled it out religiously and I still use this document to this day. It is 100 questions, which is essentially just an extension of Uda's nine, but with even more specific things that you probably wouldn't even think about. Like one of the questions on there is like, are you a supernatural being? I go through it and I fill it out pretty much every time just so I can understand absolutely everything about them. Some of my favorite questions on there are name three things you're really good at, name three things you're really bad at, greatest achievement and your greatest regret, all the questions regarding relationships and what those relationships do like in their time off and their occupations. And the last question on the 100 questions template is you as the actor, what advice would you give your character? And I always have so much fun answering that because obviously there would be no story without conflict. So for the most part, me answering that question is giving a little insight to the conflict of the story and it helps me understand the conflict better in return. Start 
asking some big questions in regards to your character and figure out how they would respond. Another really simple thing that I like to do for my characters is journal as them. When I do that, it's much more organic as opposed to answering prompted questions. It's just a release of emotion for the most part and it could be whatever really inspired you, inspired me type deal. But other than writing, okay, Pinterest. God bless Pinterest. Also, plug, you should totally follow my Pinterest because I actually post on there sometimes. Pinterest as a whole is a tool designed for curating specific aesthetics. Make a board for your character. Better yet, make one of those super boards for your character where you have like subsections. So you can do one for like what they would wear or just imagery that really inspires you for them and make it as organized or disorganized as you want. Sometimes I'll see like a photo and it doesn't even really make sense like the outsider but I feel very resonated like oh this is so much like my character this makes sense for this specific moment you never know when you're gonna feel that wave of inspiration so just save everything and if you have those moments where oh man like what is my character like? What are they doing? Looking at that reignites that spark of inspiration. And if you don't want that on your Pinterest feed, then just make it a secret board. Nobody has to know. The amount of secret boards that I have made for my characters, you don't even know. And I like using my Pinterest boards as a stepping stone to actually putting things into action. The next thing that I find to be extremely helpful is clothing. I've always said I do not really feel like my character until the costume is on and we are shooting on the day. That's the moment that it all becomes real for me. Now since I am in college, I do a lot of student films especially. Student films, you don't always have, you know, these million dollar budgets. So sometimes I am quite literally wearing my own clothes clothes, but how do they transition from my clothes to my character's clothes? This is all mine, but I wouldn't wear this outfit combination in like the same way that she would. Go through your own closet or go shopping and just take a look at the actual pieces and think, would my character wear this? I'm not saying go out and like do a shopping spree as your character. Be financially responsible, but window shop. You know what I mean? Like the act of going in the store and looking at the clothes just with a different mindset, it's fascinating, trust me. And on the note of actually just like going and doing stuff, if there is an activity that your character does in the script, either go out and try to do that if you can, or just start researching it. Say your character is a gardener, go out and garden. How does it feel to be out there? Or your character is an astronaut, maybe you can't go to space, start researching that and incorporate that into your journaling, into your notes, into your Pinterest board. But going back into physical appearances, you can also think about how they would do their makeup, how they would style their hair. If they are a gold or silver person, that is very important to me. Perhaps the biggest thing in this category Nails. I always think about my nails when I'm going to set if my nails would be something that my character would paint or like get done. Actually, so important. For example, the nails that I have right now, the project that I'm working on made sense. I envisioned her black nails on the shorter side easy modification but yeah if you have like long or short nails that's going to impact like how you hold your props or how your character works think about it think about hands a big one that i see from a lot of people is music a lot of people make playlists for their character now i'm not gonna lie this is something that i don't do very often however sometimes i hear a song and i'm like <gasps> This is like the script. This is exactly like the script. It's these weird waves of inspiration that just hit me sometimes, but it's not consistent enough that I do this every single time. But if you are someone who is very moved by music, make playlists or make multiple playlists for your arc, your character arc, and your scene, your movie, your play, whatever. Fun thing I like to do, not everyone does this. This is a me thing. I don't really know why I picked this up. Let me clarify. I do not do this every single time. Sometimes it just comes to me. I love having a secret. I love having a secret so much. I don't tell anyone. I don't even tell the director, but it is something that I and my character know only. And I think that is so special and so cool because sometimes a secret can up the stakes 
so much in a scene, but it's subtle enough that no one's like, oh, something's going on. Try it out. Trust me, you will have so much fun. Again, not every time, but the times that I have done it, girl. Some of my secrets, I am taking to the grave. I have that personal bond with that character, and I don't feel the need to share that ever. But I know, you don't know, so <laughs> whatever. Nosy much. You are responsible for your character, but don't overlook your relationships. That's still very important to keep an eye on because understanding your place in the story will just connect the dots for everyone. Things are going to make more sense and you can't do your job properly if you don't know what's going on. Because relationships are so important and because I do a lot of work alone, I think it is so important to schedule some time with maybe it is your co-star or your director. Finding time to meet outside of your rehearsals or shooting to just connect and make sure that you are on the same page about the character and about the relationship but I find when I meet with my co-stars I start developing like an actual bond with them like as a friend and it makes my experience shooting with them so much easier and we just slip into character so seamlessly and it's very refreshing it saves time for everyone involved it's like I know where they're at and they know where I'm at. But at the same time, don't give too much away. We as humans don't just stream of consciousness like what is inside of our head. So don't do that with them. You still have to have the, oh, acting is reacting type of deal. So don't just word vomit at them. The only one who should know almost everything is like your director. That's my opinion. <laughs> what do I know? So. When I was younger and I would just skip this process, the character wouldn't change and everything was very, you know? Once I got older, I would confidently say high school onward and I became much more meticulous about doing this and ensuring that I did it correctly. My performances have gotten richer and my idea of the character before I started working versus after they become completely different individuals. Make it personal because then you have the ability to relate to them. So don't do a shortcut because you're only sacrificing your own performance. Do you really want that? Plug yourself in and take what you want out of this because again, there's so many different directions you can go in here. But I hope you resonated with this and obviously, yeah, it's something that I very, very passionate about. I love character analysis. But please comment down below if you want any more videos about acting. I feel like I can make tons. tons. You know, you can always subscribe so you see what other videos I make in the future, acting and not acting. Anyways, actors, break a leg and have a magical day. <laughs>